Now here in question number one, the diagram shows an enlarged drawing of the end of a meter rule. It is being used to measure the length of a small feather. What is the length of the feather? Yes, anyone from grade nine? 19 millimeters. 19 millimeter. Now in this question, children, let's see how to do this question. Listen carefully. And uh, if you see that one end of this feather is placed exactly at on the point 10 millimeter. Here the scale. Upward reading, this is in millimeter. These small lines, these are in millimeters. Centimeter scale is uh, this bottom one. So we are not going to use our centimeter scales. We will try to find our answer in millimeter. And the other end of this feather is here at this point. So you need to calculate the value of this point here, children. So if you measure here, each one division here, this each one division, each one division, it represents for one millimeter. So it means at this point, this is 10 millimeter, here it is 15 millimeter, then it is 20 millimeter, so it is 25 millimeter, and then 26, 27, 28, and 29 here. 29 millimeter. So now in such type of question, children, whenever you have to find the a length or dimension of any object placed on a scale, they can place anywhere. They can start, they can place the one end of the object at the zero point or maybe anywhere in between the two on the surface of scale. So now the length, length of this feather is equal to 29, you need to subtract the other end minus the first end. So 29 minus 10, that is equal to 19 and this 19 you know we are using this scale and this reading is in millimeter so that answer for the question number one is 19 millimeter it's not centimeter remember children centimeter scale is here this one the bottom one so answer is not centimeter 29 centimeter is not possible and similarly sometimes students okay they mistake children make mistake uh they think that this this is here 29 and without thinking uh, they just click on that. The answer is 29 millimeter. But children, you have to remember this end, the first end is not placed on the zero. If suppose it is placed on the zero, definitely then the answer will be 29 millimeter, but it is placed starting from the 10 millimeter. Next question, please. Now in question number two, our student want to find the volume of a small, a regularly shaped stone. A ruler and a measuring, measuring cylinder containing some water are available. What, which apparatus is needed? Not the volume, volume of, uh, first remember that this children, this is the irregularly, irregularly shaped object. If it is an irregularly shaped object, so it means whenever you find in options or uh, the ruler, you can't use the ruler because it's an irregularly shaped object. You can't measure the dimension with the scale. Uh, ruler only, this option is wrong. The option C is wrong. In option A, neither the ruler nor measuring cylinder. If, both are, if we are not using both of them, so we can't measure the volume. So that's why this option A is also wrong. So the best answer is here or the measuring cylinder only. With the measuring cylinder that I showed yesterday, you know, in that video, how to put a irregularly shaped object, the water displaced by the irregularly shaped object, that is called the volume. Means the final level minus initial level, that, that difference gives the volume. Question number third, children. Go through with this statement, children, carefully of the simple pendulum.
I think I need to uh, tell you some more uh, facts about the simple pendulum children. Uh, let me explain this question number third. The option which are given in this question that we have not discussed in class, in class lessons. Now the diagram shows a ball hanging on a string. The ball swings from point W to point Z or Z and back to point W. Which statement about the ball is correct? The four uh, options. Sir? Yes, please. Uh, sir, is the B option correct? B option is, let me check, let me explain, then you could find that which option is correct. Okay, first let me tell the basic, uh, some more points about the simple pendulum theory. Now, in simple pendulum, actually in simple pendulum, I need to use the whiteboard. Let me take here, this is a, some result support and we have a pendulum and this is a bulb. And initially it is displaced from certain position with small angle, suppose the bulb is here. You know, children, when we displace the bulb from its main position to some extreme position, you know, we need to perform some work done. We need to perform some work done. We need to apply some force. So in that case, what will happen that, that the bulb is here at this point, children, at suppose at point A. Once it released, once it released, you know, it start oscillating about the main position. It are in, this will be in motion. So when it oscillates, you know, it will start oscillating. It will start oscillating in this way. So when it starts oscillating in this way, at that time, what will happen? What will happen? When the object is at any extreme position, that means to the two extreme positions, to the left side and to the right side. These are the extreme positions. Extreme position means that this is the uh, maximum distance that the pendulum will cover or maximum uh, displacement that the pendulum can go. Beyond this point that the pendulum will not go and after that this will return back to the towards its mean position. Now what will happen here? When the pendulum reaches at the extreme position, its entire kinetic energy is converted or transferred into the potential energy. Even though this concept of kinetic energy and potential energy, we are going to discuss in the chapter number third, work power energy. But that this question is here, and I want to explain a little bit about this kinetic energy and potential energy. Kinetic energy is the energy due to the motion of the object, and the equation is half mv square. Even if you want to note down, you can note down. Means when the object is in motion, then it possesses a, a kind of energy that is called the kinetic energy. When you throw any object, a javelin is thrown. So when a javelin is thrown, that the, till the object move, javelin move, continually it has some kinetic energy. And uh, so in this case, in this case, what happens, children? As the pendulum is leaving the extreme position and approaching to the main position, in this case, what happens? When the pendulum is, let me write down somewhere here, when bow, let me write bow, is extreme position, extreme position, extreme position can be both sides, the left side and the right side children. So at that time, it has, pendulum has maximum potential energy, maximum potential energy children. Why it has maximum potential energy and what is the equation for potential energy? Let me write the equation for potential energy. This is mgh. The pendulum has some weight that is mg and that it has height. That the height means that the distance covered from the main position. It is the highest distance or displacement of the pendulum from its main position. So whenever the height or the distance and the displacement is maximum, potential energy will be maximum. What about the kinetic energy? You know, kinetic energy, when the pendulum or the swings reach to the extreme position at that time, velocity start decreasing. Velocity start decreasing. And at exact the extreme position, let me write again, at the extreme position, extreme position, kinetic energy is reduced to zero. So here uh, you can find that this is an example of a conversion of one energy into another energy how a kinetic energy is converted into a potential energy. And similarly, when the bow start moving towards the main position, its potential energy start decreasing. Why the potential energy start decreasing? Because edge start decreasing. And the pendulum is now approaching toward the main position. And when the pendulum reach at the main position, at main position, 
at following position, the current energy becomes maximum. So this happens, children. This happens. Current energy becomes maximum at this position, at the main position. Potential energy is maximum here, at the extreme position. Rest of the things we will discuss in children in chapter number three. Now let's find the answer for the question number third. Now from this discussion, is there anyone children that who can explain which statement about the ball is correct? Uh, B. Either B or C. Now uh, in option A, the candidate of the ball is greatest at point W. This is the wrong answer. Here the potential energy. If the option is potential energy, then it will be the right answer. So option A is wrong. In option B, the kinetic energy of the ball is greatest at point X, children. X kinetic energy will be maximum at the main position. Y is the main position. X is not the main position. So here the potential energy is maximum, then the kinetic energy start increasing, increasing, and increasing, increasing. And finally, at this position Y, it becomes maximum. And then again it starts decreasing. Kinetic energy starts decreasing because at the extreme position to the right side, potential energy becomes maximum. So in option right. C. Yeah, kinetic energy of the ball is greatest at point Y. So Y we will consider the right answer, this option C. And the in option D, kinetic energy of the ball is same at all points of the swing. That is not the case. Yes, please now. Who want to ask? Uh, you sir, kinet, uh, sir, potential energy at point W and point Z is, is the same, right? Uh, let potential energy. Uh, let me check to uh, go to the diagram at point W and point E. Yes, that will be same. Correct. Oh, okay, sir. The maximum value, the potential energy is maximum at both the point W and Z. Question number four, children. A measuring cylinder is used to measure the volume of, of a quantity of water. Which measuring technique wouldn't improve the accuracy of the measurement? Go through with the option, children. Make sure that the measuring cylinder is vertical. Uh, you need to find which technique wouldn't improve. Wouldn't improve. You know, option A is the right option that uh, uh, measuring, making sure that the measuring cylinder is vertical. It should be vertical. I covered this point in my that video also. And in the option B, making sure that the water surface definitely it should be at the high level. This is also the right answer. Actually, uh, we need to find the wrong answer. Reading the top of the water meniscus. Reading the top of the water meniscus is the right answer, children. Shouldn't you read from the bottom? Yeah, it should be measured from the uh, bottom of the meniscus. So this is wrong. And what about the fourth option? Using the smallest measuring cylinder available that will contain all the water. Yeah, for the better accuracy of the reading and the measurement, children, if we use a cylinder, a measuring cylinder having uh, small divisions small divisions that is better to use. You know, in that video, children, I showed initially that the water was in a in a beaker that was a large beaker. So the division was not fine there. So that's why we need to put the pour the water into the measuring cylinder in which there are large divisions or maybe the smaller and smaller list count. So that is the way to uh, use the measuring cylinder to calculate uh, the best answer. So here in question number four, children, that the wrong answer that we need to find out, and this is option number C. So this is the answer. Let's move to the question number five, children. Go through with the statement, children, carefully. What is the diameter of one sphere? Diameter is on that Two centimeters. Two centimeters. Yeah, the first you need to see that the all answers are in centimeters and the scale is also uh, giving the reading in the centimeter. 
and the diameter means you know that the, which is the double of the radius this length you need to measure this length so this is coming in between the this one point one centimeter and the other division that is one centimeter so one plus one that is equal to two centimeters so two centimeters is the right answer here in this question it's not uh, one centimeter it's not three four but it is two next question question number six This is like an aptitude question, children, that uh, a cook wants to prepare some food to be cooked by 1.15. He uses an option, <laughs> option is? A. So yeah, students, uh, uh, those who can't speak, please uh, don't forget to type your answer in chat box. I want to see your answers in chat box also. Uh, that uh, I think uh, for this question number six, uh, I don't think that uh, that explanation is required. It's a simple question, uh, just an aptitude question. You can find the answer, and the answer is A. Yes, it's A. Let's move to the question number seven. Now, to find out the answer for this question number seven, and just type your answer in chat box. Diagram shows a measuring instrument. Measuring instrument. Small, small divisions are there. So it means it's a good device, a measuring device for for what? Which quantity is this instrument used to measure? Is it going to measure area? Is it going to measure density? Mass or volume. volume? Yeah, it's volume. That's the video, you know, that volume. the video that the video was covering based on the measuring slender and to calculate the volume of the liquid. So answer is D. Question number eight, children. Okay, that I have received some answer. Let me read. Jiwan said, what is O? First, uh, I have supposed to type G. Okay. Lee has volume, he has correct answer. Uh, and so he has a D, yes. Okay, now the question number eight, children. Which option contains only apparatus that could be used to determine the volume of small block of unknown material. Uh, let me read one more time. Which option contains only apparatus that could be used to determine the volume of small block of unknown material? You need to calculate the volume. What things you need? Measuring uh, I think it's not. Okay, measuring cylinder and stopwatch. Is stopwatch in that recorded video? I have not used any stopwatch. So for the calculation of volume, stopwatch is not required. Means whenever you find, wherever you find the stopwatch, remove that answer. Stopwatch is here. So remove option B, remove option D. Now you have to work out only on option A and C. And uh, meter rule and balance also that it's not required. We are not going to calculate any density that the mass divided by volume. So this is not required. That uh, right answer is A. Measuring cylinder and meter rule. And here in chat books, Aaron said it's A. Satra said it's A. Arjun also, your answer is correct A. Rishik is also, answer is also correct A. Okay, now let's move to the next question. Question number nine. That's the experiment we did, I did, you know. The diagram shows a measuring cylinder used to measure the volume of small stone. What is the volume of the stone? Uh, this question is for Ashdeep Kaur. Please find out the answer. Ayush said the answer is A, which answer is A. Uh, now in uh, these questions, children, sometimes uh, uh, finding the list count is also useful. List count means that, uh, uh, that the smallest division 
how much value that we can measure with the smallest vision. So here in this scale, up to this point, this is tens, the volume in centimeter cube at this point ten. So one division it is giving us. I, I can take ten this number and divide it by the total division. The five division I can say. So each single division is giving the value of two centimeter cube. Each single division. So it means uh, this is twelve. The next one is fourteen. Next one is sixteen. And here this is eighteen centimeter cube. You need to find out the exact value, children. If you take this is nineteen, then your answer will be wrong. But here it is eighteen. Similarly, from this side, the same scale. The same container. Now the solid stone is uh, put into it. Twenty here. Then the next will be twenty-two, twenty-four, and this is twenty-six centimeter cube. Now you need to subtract twenty-six minus eighteen is how much? Eight centimeter cube. So if you know some other method, you can use. Uh, but better to find out that the single division. Lee, your answer is also correct. Chavila is answer A correct. Question number ten. Measuring cylinder is used to measure the volume of the water. Which action would make her result less accurate? Less accurate, children. Making sure her eye is level with water surface. This will make a better result. Cylinder is vertical, better result. Reading the bottom, better result. Using the largest, largest measuring cylinder. You know, children, the just smallest measuring cylinder and largest measuring cylinder. The difference is that smaller the division is there. Smaller the division is there. uh means uh, less accurate result so more the divisions there more better is the result so less accurate result will come if you choose this option number d largest measuring cylinder and the uh, only said it's d said the answer is d basic case is d yeah children those who are not um, sending your answer please respond Only four and five students. They are just replying. All of you, twenty-three participants are here. Yeah. Let's move to the next question. And in question number eleven, a student using a measuring cylinder to measure the volume of water. Diagram is there. The top and bottom of the meniscus are labeled. Mm, what is the volume? What is the volume, children? Here. How this scale is giving us the measuring value? What is the volume of the water? This forty is here. The small is for the half. This is forty and half. This is forty point five children. Then the next one is forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, and now this is forty five. Then forty six here, and and this will be forty seven. So this is forty seven meter centimeter cube. Sorry, and uh, if and uh, what do you need to calculate? What is the volume of the water? Yeah, forty seven. Forty seven centimeter cube is an option A. You need to uh, work out, children, that uh, how to read this scale. You will find some answers questions in your exams based on this. The same concept, children. Only that uh, answer is A. Chavila answer A. Yun Kim answer A. Tuisha A. Correct. Amo A. Aaron A. Ramesh A is A. Okay, very good, children. Question number twelve. Go through with the statement, children. Read it one or twice. Which 
which cylinder uh, should the student use and which water level should she use to ensure an accurate result one is a large cylinder other one is a smaller cylinder and we will go with the smaller cylinder and in the smaller cylinder that options c and d is there option c and d now let's find the cylinder that the, it should be smaller one but bottom of the meniscus water level top of the meniscus you know that the uh, uh, that there is a rule to measure the uh, reading in a mesenchymal cylinder always lower meniscus is preferred uh, bottom one so the top meniscus is the wrong this is the so answer c is the option c is the right answer you know and in chat box that i can see that among answer is c aaron c twisha answer c kim c anishtuya vishikesh vansh shweta c satria yeah, everyone answer is correct yeah you are a genius children you know uh, this present grade 9c years of 9b your intelligence both of this section question number 13 it's a game simple question this uh, nail is placed on a scale what is the length 2.7 yeah. yeah this is, this is 3 here let me write here children this is 4 and uh, you need to find out that the uh, this the other end and this end is is here coinciding with this point and uh, so this scale is in centimeter uh, up to here this is 3 up to here 3.5 3.6 and 3.7 so this is coming 3.7 children here and the one end here this is at 1 cm you need to find out the difference of that so 3.7 minus 1 2.7 now again children that uh, sometimes students that i have seen in the last year uh, students uh, they just write 3.7 just finding that the last end this is 3.7 but my dear students you need to remember that this first end is not placed at the zero point if it is at the zero point definitely that the length of the nail will be 3.7 but here this is placed at point 1 so you need to find out the difference 3.7 is the answer 13 answers i received in chat box good very good students uh, b amog gavli b b b all students are giving the right answer that's good Vishal, Vila, Hari, Rishikesh, Anisaya, Vansh, Kizia. One more question, children. Question number one four. Which instrument is used to compare the masses of objects? Uh, actually, we have not covered the topic of this mass and weight, children. But you know, that's the simple question. But you can find your answer by yourself. Um, Which instrument is used to compare or to measure the masses of object? You know, a beam balance is used, a weighing machine is used. Uh, now let me uh, see the options here. Measuring cylinder, measuring cylinder is used to measure the volume, so it is, there is no relation to of to measure the mass. A manometer is related to uh, using the pressure difference in a U tube, uh, U shaped tube, and manometer. This barometer is used to measure the atmospheric pressure, no relation with the mass, and that we have uh, that the right answer. Sometimes children, that uh, even if you are not aware about the right answer, so sometimes you are aware about the wrong answers. So skip the wrong answer and the the option which left is the you consider the right answer. That's all. Sir, yes, please. Sir, what is B and C used to measure for? What? What? Sorry. What is barometer and manometer for? Yeah, I told you the barometer is used for measuring the atmospheric pressure. We are going to discuss this topic barometer in chapter number, uh, chapter number third. We will discuss it. Uh, oh, okay. In the pressure topic, and the same the manometer is also used to measure the pressure difference, but in case of a, a U shape, a U shape tube, we have a U shape tube. and in both the limbs that the water level will be there to find the uh, pressure difference between the liquid column that we are going to discuss in 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 september children now question number uh, okay children that the answer for question number 14 this is a 
uh, Kim said A, Vansh said A, even we have not discussed, you are able to give the right answer, children. Excellent, KZ, you are good. Yeah, all of you have given the right answer. One five. Question number one five. Read the statement carefully and what is the volume of each steel ball? Remember, children, some students make a mistake, they not read this option. Each steel ball, volume of each. Steel bowl, not the volume of five bowls, but each bowl. Now, children, here without uh, adding steel ball in the measuring cylinder, volume you can see initial volume. Initial volume is 40. And the, when the five bowls are added into the measuring cylinder, the final volume you can see that uh, is final volume 70 centimeter cube or milliliter. The difference is now 70 minus 40, 30. Now, what is this 30 centimeter cube? This 30 centimeter cube is the volume of the five balls. Volume of five balls, children. But our question is, we need to find out the volume of each ball. Sometimes, but just looking, uh, the reading the statement, the student, they are in hurry in finding answer and they click on the option number C. But option C is a wrong answer. Children. 30 centimeter is the volume of five balls. To calculate the volume of each ball, just divide this value by the number of balls. Five balls are there. Uh, 30 by five, that is six. Answer should be six centimeter cube. Let me check your answer in chat box. Once A, Lee, yes, A, it's A. Kim A, Sierra A, correct Sierra. Trisha A, Jasmine Mola, good A. Lee, your answer is A, Aaron, yeah, everyone. Anvita Das, correct. It is she gives A, Satria, A, KZ, uh, yeah. Good children. Now let me stop here, children, for a moment that we have one minute left. And 